There's only one. There's only one. It's only one. Just only one. Just love and happiness, beauty and holiness. Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna show you guys how I go from the jail braids to laid and slayed, honey. Yes ma'am so i think the keys to having a nice flat frontal wig is to have some nice flat braids they big in the back but they nice and flat in the front so you already know this from wow african and these are the things that they give you in the back you know a little comb edge brush lashes all that good stuff so here is the wig and here are the specs in a color natural and it's a 20 inch and y'all let's just talk about the elephant in the room it's the hairline it's blucked blucked it's plucked <laughs> it is plucked so Come on, somebody, because I couldn't do that. I'm a beginner, okay? I'm a beginner. But this is a 360 um, wig, so you can wear it up, you can wear it down, whatever you want. Nice parting space in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on without the wig cap, wig cap really quick so I can show y'all this hairline. Because the hairline is really the cream of the crop. Like, this is what we're doing. Look at it. Use your eyeballs and look at this hairline because even I was a little shocked. I was like, stop playing with her. Well, African, y'all are really that girl. Talk to me nice on today. So just get, get you a little closer look. I am definitely going to um, put some powder on the lace because the lace is not, you know, it's not where we need it to be at the moment, but we're going to get it there. All right, so let's get on into customizing this wig. I'm not gonna do too much. It's all ready. It comes just ready to plop on your head and go. Uh, I'm just gonna straighten it and like flat it, flatten up the roots a little bit, but can we just get into this hairline one more time? I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't ignore because I'm a beginner, as some of you know, I'm getting into my wig bag, but like this plucking, it's like an early Christmas gift. Like, thank you for doing that for me because I don't think I would have been able to do it this good at this point in my life. So shout out to Wild African for just taking out taking out a step because there's already enough steps in laying a wig. Like this step here, if you're a dark skin girl, tap in. Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 16 is for you. What I learned recently is that you want to get a contour color i mean i know this is cream foundation but you would want to use a shade darker than what you actually are so before i was using my foundation color on like the lace and it was too light and i was wondering like why does this look ashy why is it not like melting but you need to use like a shade darker so if you have a contour stick or a con not a stick a contour like whatever use that on the lace it will change the game completely so what i'm doing now i'm just securing the um the wig to the wig head so i can flat iron it out it's already straight and so i didn't do too much like going in sections because it's straight enough i just really wanted to get any um areas that were a little crinkled up from being in the box so i'm gonna flat iron it out me and my fake chase chase method y'all like i was flat ironing my hair for like five months in a row and still did not get the chase method down so please do not roast me if i'm not doing it right <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm flat ironing it and then at the top I'm using my lot of body brat mousse just to put it on the roots because the roots are already pretty flat But I want to be extra. I'm talking. I want silk press. Okay. I want hot comb vibes on my head So I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten the roots a little bit and then I'm gonna do it again later But I just wanted to get the first round out the way while it's not on my head and look how flat that is That's just one side. The other side is still flat, but it could be flatter So now I'm gonna flatten the other side as well So I'm using the wig cap that Wild African sent me. These are so thin. So if you're a bald cap type of girl, then this is definitely the wig cap for you. I used to trip when companies didn't send like the dark wig caps, but it doesn't make, like it don't matter because I'm gonna put the my correct color on it anyways. And as you can see that Ruby Kiss <laughs> cream foundation is perfect, uh, nice and dark. I do push it back a little bit because I don't like seeing like that harsh line at the very front. But then it's kind of at the back, but you can fix that with your shade of concealer by putting it in the part. So it's really not a big deal at all. 
So I'm just putting the wig back on my head to see exactly how much I need to pull it down or leave it up to make sure it's covering my hairline, um, just to make sure it's at the right spot because you don't want it to put it too far back and you don't want to have it too far down and it takes up your whole forehead. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to cut it into like three parts so I can spray my adhesive underneath. Now I used to use wig glue, but I'm, I'm on the uh, Wonder Lace Bond by Even, Eben, whatever it's called. I love this so much more because it's so much gentler on my edges. Like when I need to take it off, all I have to do is spray water on it and it comes off. When I'm using that wig glue that I had a couple of videos back, I needed water, I needed alcohol, I needed oil. And it was just such a hard time taking it off. But the, the lace, um, even lace wonder, whatever it's called, I'll leave a link in the description box, y'all. It comes off so easily. So that's my little rant on that. And I'm just gonna use the edge or the tip of like a rat tail comb or something to press it down. And then I'm gonna blow dry it to dry it up a little bit, make sure it stays in place because we can't have our wig sliding back, baby. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my Wild African Band to hold it down in place and let it set for a little bit. So now that the unit is on my head, I'm gonna use my wax stick by She Is Bomb just to make sure the roots are extremely flat. Again, like I said, I'm going for silk press. So I'm flattening it again and I'm using my hot tool, I think on the highest setting because I need it as flat as possible. And now uh, y'all see it and you see me looking real impressed. So I went and changed my shirt and did a little bit of, did I do my makeup yet? I don't think so. Okay, but I'm just showing you that that adhesive spray is just as good as the glue y'all it keeps it down so my hair is laid now this part i'm gonna speed through and one thing while african i need y'all to do is go ahead and send me this wig again but with the the lace already cut okay i i'm trying to live a soft life i don't want to cut my own lace anymore because i am truly not the best at it i am working on it but i i could use a little bit of work on cutting my lace um as you can see a little bit of you know discrepancy at the top but i just glued it down with the wig spray and it laid flat and then just put a little bit more cream powder on it or foundation and it's very seamless so this is what the front of my hair is looking like y'all cannot tell me that's not growing out of my scalp excuse a little bit of ash that's by my ear and i got lotion my face better but it looks so good in the front of my hair i'm so pleased now i'm just using like i said earlier my concealer to conceal the part make sure it's one color all the way down and it was a little harsh so i used my finger to kind of dab it out a little bit and blend it in but you guys this is the finished look it's so seamless can we just get into the hairline one more time guys be so for real this looks so good they did such a good job plucking the hairline so you don't have to worry about any of that all you have to do is cut off the lace and glue it down to your head and then you're good to go so i'm just showing you that there is enough parting space for you to do a nice little side part if you want i like the flip over method because it gives me that rock sand look from the goofy movie y'all know who i'm talking about very cute very much feeling the side part love how natural and flowing this looks um, it is a 360, so it is laced all the way around your forehead and in the back too. So you can do a half up, half down style if you wanted to. If you really wanted to get into it, just brush it up real nice. You can do full ponytail since there's lace, um, you know, it's 360 all in the back also. Again, this is 20 inches. It feels longer than that, but this is a 20 inch middle part bust down, okay? I'm only 5'3", though, so it's long on me, but I think it'd be pretty long on you guys too. So here's one last look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything's in the description box, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.